Alrighty, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about how I kind of crashed the Corvette. Okay, you can see here shattered the uh, the front bumper, the grill. That's it for that. Um, so it may or may not have to do with these kind of donuts over here, half donuts, whatever. Um, I actually found this dirt road. It's actually perfect for donuts if you have a truck. Now, in a sports car, not so much because the ruts are so deep. As here, for example, that bumper gone will definitely rip a bumper. This also could potentially rip a bumper off. So, um, actually that has nothing to do with it. But, as for the story of why my car got crashed I was on my way to Tennessee and uh, I'd say just over the state lines headed to Georgia about mile marker six or seven or so um, I seen the truck out in front of me kind of like start wobbling I was like what's this man doing so next thing I know I see his tire blow out his tire and like all kinds of fluid blow out and then next thing you know there's big metal pieces flying towards my car and me and there's nowhere I can go I got cars behind me cars beside me um, so I just have to take it because I'm not gonna put it in the ditch so apparently once it hit my car of course the uh, seat belts locked up because there's a airbag sensor literally right behind where it hit so the airbags didn't go off, thankfully, but the seat belts did lock up. So, fortunately, I know my car's kind of dirty. I'm out here on the dirt road. Fortunately, I had to cut the seat belts, um, and then it started like pulling this upholstery off here and stuff. But I was okay. Car, not so much. I do need a new bumper. But um, according to the truck in front of me, what actually happened was something flew off a truck in front of him. It cut, it bounced off the road, cut his air condition line, and then it came back. It actually cut a hole in his shock. So, whatever this object was, because we never went back and found it, it was big and it was metal and it was strong enough to cut this man's shock open and slash a hole in his tire to where it blows it off. So, and then it comes up and hits my car, and that's that. But yeah, that's just a little story of, uh, what happened to my car and then uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some more footage of uh, a couple more donuts on this road or whatnot before uh, the cops come so we'll get back with you guys So for this car being an automatic, that's not too bad. I'm not expecting much of it, honestly, because um, you really can't control the power of it um, like you can in a manual. And it also doesn't have an e-brake. So, you know, it's not too bad. I love the car, honestly. Um, I wish the roads were freshly graded because then it wouldn't have all these dips and stuff and it'd actually be a little bit, you know, better on the car, honestly. But, uh, I don't know, I like doing this. Uh, normally, I'll come from that way, and I'll take it sideways through here and go that way. But, uh, like I said, with all these ruts and stuff, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. But, uh, I'll keep in touch, like, because I got friends that work at the road department and stuff. And, uh, yeah, once they grade the road, we'll come back out here. And down that way, there's actually some awesome turns. So, uh i actually take you guys down that way now. I'm not going to drive too fast down it, obviously, because I don't know the road conditions right now. Um, from the looks of this, since it's been raining, everybody's been down here doing donuts, of course. This is our spot. So, we'll drive down there, show you guys the road, and uh, we'll get back with you at the end. 
already now got the GoPro set up. It's actually running a little warm. I'm not sure why. Probably because it's hot out here. But uh, we're all set, and I'll take you guys down the road. So y'all saw, saw the road conditions wasn't ideal. Okay, um, there was definitely a ditch. I about hit it 40 miles an hour. That definitely would have crashed the car. But I'm glad we seen it. I'm glad we didn't crash the car. I'm gonna get you uh, guys set up on the back. Uh, I'm gonna head home and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you never miss a future video we do. And uh, yeah, uh, please, Feel free to leave a comment on stuff you'd like to see us do in the future with the car and bike or uh, what other, whatever uh, other vehicles we end up getting. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video.